Hello everyone, Nottis fan here. Welcome back to my Madden Ultimate Team episode uh, 10 here. As uh, we start by pulling some packs and we pull a fantasy football Hakeem Nix here, which is very nice. And uh, we're running low on coin at this point, and lo and behold, with 15,000 coins left, I pull a gold Adrian Peterson. Holy smokes. So I've got the gold CJ, uh, which I've been contemplating putting into collection or not, and now a gold uh, Adrian Peterson, which makes the decision to put CJ into the uh, Titans collection all that much easier for me. So uh, here he goes, 99 Chris Johnson into collection, only 2,000 coins back, but you get the 100,000 coins plus the legendary... Albert Hainsworth there, who is a, a very hot commodity in his own right and a beast of a player on the field. So that's a trade-off I'm willing to take to get another 99 into my lineup uh, as I now have uh, AP in the backfield here. So here I'm doing the uh, 2.0 coaches collection, uh, or the uh, the second series uh, coaches collections. Um, and uh, this is worth 300,000 coin for itself and a fairly easy one to finish off. Uh, and so there I do it. And the... Uh, Reward there is an elite Mike Tomlin uh, coach card, which is uh, pretty sweet in its own right. It's got some it's got some multipliers there on there uh, when you use them on the field. So um, use some of that money go buy out a Philip Rivers uh, fantasy card uh, to upgrade my quarterback position, and then uh, here comes the pull of a lifetime uh, as far as my uh, playing time goes. That is an elite golden ticket, Calvin Johnson Jr. There he is, Megatron himself, elite. Uh, golden ticket created uh, by a golden, uh, the golden ticket promotion winner, one of them, on the Xbox. Uh, you see that's marked 15 of 50, so I gotta put him in and play a game with him, right? So Philip Rivers throwing it double coverage doesn't matter. <laughs> Megatron goes up and snags this one. As you see the pump fake by Rivers, watch him throw this. Just uh, just get it in his general direction and look at him fend off the defender with one uh, one arm and catch this one-handed here. Uh, you see the replay again, streaking down the field, turns, adjusts, makes that catch. What a beast. So uh, I'm basically going to feed him the ball all day long and see what he can do. Here he is over the middle. Oh, yeah, getting himself open. He's already got two, 63 yards on two catches at this point, as you see a replay here. Uh, this guy is an absolute beast. Uh, j just to tell you how rare this card is, uh, you saw 15 of 50. That means only 50 were created, uh, as you see him catch a touchdown here. Only 50 were created all across everyone who's playing uh, Madden Ultimate Team on the Xbox. Uh, 360. So uh, a, a very unique pull. Um, I was I was shocked to get him. Uh, never pulled a, uh, a a Manning or a Breeze to this point, but uh, this is actually much more rare. And um, having fun here, uh, using him in the lineup and and showing you what he can do here. So uh, seven nothing. Now we're up. Rivers looking for him again. Sideline catch. Uh, yeah, things are going well here. He's already over 100 yards on four catches. So uh, this guy's the real deal. Um, again here, uh, throwing to him. Uh, nobody's going to stop him on this play. He is in the end zone for his second touchdown of the game already. And uh, as uh, my team celebrates here with him, uh, they're loving what they could do here uh, with this guy inserted in the lineup. Uh, new quarterback throwing to a new uh, beast of a wide receiver. And uh, it's working out well already against uh, a, a Jets defense who is, uh, you know, known to be pretty, pretty uh, stingy. So uh, out of the shotgun again here, we're in the second quarter. Not much pressure on Rivers. He's able to loft this up and a big catch for, uh, for Mega once again. 173 yards on six receptions. As you see, this one uh, just gets separation right off the line and um, Rivers lofts it up for him. And there you go. Now going to the end zone once again, and oh, I put that one in there uh, because he almost made that catch with Revis and Leonard on him. <laughs> almost still made the catch. Basically anything I threw, now I'm surprised they didn't give him the touchdown there on his extra effort, uh, but they uh, they call him just short. So, uh, but, uh, you know, basically I found that you throw anything near him, and even on tip passes, he's, he's still in the mix, um, you know, just about hauling it in. Uh, every time. So here looking for him along the back line. That's a heck of a catch, but he's going to be ruled out uh, because he did not get both feet inbounds, but watch the effort here. Up makes the catch, uh, takes the hit, comes down with the ball. The guy, uh, the guy's incredible, what can I say? So, um, 
uh, end of the half here. I'm going to get one more pass off to him, get a timeout, uh, get no no more no further points there on the next play. But but he's got 213 yards on 10 catches at the half. So here we go in fourth quarter, looking for him again, and he's wide open, and he's gonna he's gonna dive into the end zone for his third touchdown of the day. Incredible. Um, you know, it makes it look like you're playing on rookie uh, with this guy in the lineup here, and this is an all Madden game. So uh, he's just going uh, going nuts here, going off against the Jets, who have no answer for him whatsoever. Dives that one down into the end zone as he gets congratulated here. As you'll see the replay coming up of his fourth and final touchdown of the day. Just a quick little, little uh, pop to him. So here's the stat line. 12 catches, 283 yards, only averaging a shade under 24 uh, uh, yards a catch and four touchdowns. That is the definition of a beast right there. So uh, that was, uh, he, he's amazing, but uh, he's also a very hot commodity on the market. And uh, I tell you, I got to give a shout out to uh, one of my friends that I've uh, uh, gained in playing this series, uh, Juven Groovin. Is a huge Lions fan. I made a deal for him because I knew he'd really appreciate him even more than I would. And in the sake of uh, bringing you some quality entertainment, I get uh, I get I get uh, Ed Reed and I get um, Jared Allen back in the steal. And uh, Juven Groovin gives me 3.5 million coins, uh, roughly in that area, I believe was what we ended up, plus uh, some of those players. Plus he's been feeding me, uh, you know, decent golds. Um, from here on out uh, that I may need for my collection. So real stand-up guy, uh, plays plays this the right way, right way. He's all that's right about uh, the community in this game because there are quite a few scammers out there. As you see, I, I pull a Lawrence Jackson in a pack here, uh, and with all my newfound coins, I'm able to buy out uh, the rest of the uh, USC collection here, which uh, which bumps me even further. So, um, so I think you're going to enjoy who the collection uh, uh, reward here is for the USC uh, collection. It's none other than Elite Troy Polamalu. So not only do I have uh, Gold Polamalu, I now have an Elite Troy Polamalu who is a 99 overall uh, a beast on the defensive side of the ball if there ever was one. So looking at my strong safety situation here now, uh, this makes it much uh easier decision on whether or not to complete the Steelers collection, uh, which now I can uh, can possibly do. But before I get to that, uh, finishing out the Browns here, bought a Sean Rogers on the auction house, uh, putting him on in and uh, getting the 75,000 coins plus uh, the reward, which in this case is legendary, hold it, hold it, legendary Derek Anderson. Now that sounds like an oxymoron, legendary and Derek Anderson in the same sentence, but that is the reward card for the Browns. That's going to go straight into the team uh, collection. Uh, I'm not going to be using him in the, in the lineup. I pull a uh, fantasy football Brady, and now I do uh, make a move uh, with another one of my buddies, uh, Carnage Cassidy, to uh, for my gold AP. Um, and in return, I get fantasy AP, and I get uh, 2.0 Brady. So I get two 99s back for uh, Adrian Peterson's gold card, which is also a very hot commodity on the auction house. Uh, there, was, I believe there might have been some coins or some other uh, considerations in the deal as well. But it worked out uh, worked out well here as I'm, I'm completing the Bears collection now. Uh, that one is done and in the books. And uh, here is one of my favorite cards you get in return for this one. Legendary Brian Urlacher. He's a 98. He's a monster uh, in the middle of the defense there. So things are really rounding off well in my lineup now. Um, all coming together. Um, now I complete a buyout. I go and get Jamal Charles as the third running back here. So you see I'm running Elite AP, rookie Chris Johnson, and Jamal Charles. Uh, third edition card at a 95. So loving my backfield here. Completing now, going on to some of the, uh, the alternate uh, jersey collections. Getting those done here in the NFC, it looks like. Uh, yep, NFC Home Alt Unis collection done. And the reward is the AFL Home uh, Patriots jersey. There was no collection for these at the, at the time, but uh, held on to all of them. And there is now a collection that they go into that I'm currently working on is here I do the uh, the road AFC alts or NFC excuse me alts um, and the uh, reward is AFL away uh, Titans uh, well then would have been Houston Oilers so from there I'm jumping into uh, finishing off the Patriots uh, team set here as Brady goes in 
uh, for 2,000 coins, but more importantly, get the uh, the coin total for the team set. There you go. There's a completed uh, Patriots team set. Randy Moss, uh, Brady, and all. Uh, and the uh, reward is legendary Asante Samuel, a 96 overall corner. Going to fit very nicely into my defense. Uh, could definitely use some lockdown corners. So uh, he will go right in there. And from there, we're going to finish off the Ravens team set as well as uh, Ray Lewis goes in. And that Ed Reed I had gotten earlier in a trade, um, earlier in this series, or in this uh, episode, I believe, uh, is going to go in now that I've got the other pieces and I've got the Ravens collection as well. So uh, the reward is legendary Bart Scott, 92 overall middle linebacker. Will not be a starter for me, but uh, still makes a nice backup to Erlocker there in my lineup. Uh, so uh, we'll keep him around for the time being in the lineup. I'll probably drop London Fletcher there. So uh, now I made the decision putting that uh, beastly James Harrison and that gold Palomalu in for the Steelers set now that I have the elite Palomalu to uh, cover him in the lineup. So there it is, a completed Steelers set. Uh, definitely some beasts going away into that one. Uh, and you get legendary Willie Parker in that. Again, he will not crack my lineup either, but he will definitely go into the... Uh, into the collections set uh, in hopes of uh, completing that all at one time. And now here was a shocker, about 4 or 5 in the morning one morning. I was up early uh, rubbing the eyes and, and couldn't believe what I saw. Jari Evans for for Max on the auction house and I had to grab that one. Uh, even waited a while to make sure I didn't snipe somebody's trade, but no messages. So finally into the lineup, completing the AFC home alternate unis there for some more coin and the Broncos AFL home uh, jersey which will go into a collection itself. Uh, so here's the elusive uh, Devin McCourty 3.0 card, finally got from my buddy Juven Groven, who uh, did the trade for the uh, Calvin Johnson Elite. Uh, that was a residual uh, card, one of the ones he's been feeding me uh, the cards I need as we go here uh, as compensation for that big trade we did. So uh, he goes into the third collection, number one, and the reward is, hey, it's the Jamal Charles card I already bought off of the auction house earlier, so we'll, we'll uh, sell him off. Anyway, um, come on back for the next episode. It'll be coming up real soon here, uh, back to back here. I've got another one just about ready to go, so do come back. Touchdown.